Hey guys, this is Rob with 3D Printscape. Today will be part two of our intro to 3D printing series where we're going to cover how to change filament. This video is going to be broken into two parts. First part is going to be how to change filament if the printer is running. So if you trigger the filament sensor or if you want to change colors or anything along those lines. The second part we're going to go into how to just change the filament if you're going to swap out the color and the printer is not running or if you just want to store the filament if you're not going to be using it for a couple days. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I've got a print running so we're going to pause it and I will show you how to change the filament when it's actually running. Alright, so the first part is going to be actually pausing the print to change the filament. So from the control panel we will go to change filament Right, so now it is unwinding the filament. This will typically just take a second or two. And then once it's done, you'll go ahead and pull out the filament. Depending upon your printer, you might have a piece that you have to pop out, or some of them have a button in the back you have to push in. But once that's done, you'll just go ahead and pull it out. And now that the old filament's been removed, it's time to put the new filament back in. So it's going to be the same thing as before where you have either the side piece you have to pop out like on this printer or there's going to be a button in the back that you have to push in while you're loading it to actually release the tension. So here we're just going to feed it in as far as we can and then go ahead and close it back up. Now we'll go back over to the control panel, hit continue and it's going to start feeding the filament in. Then as you can see at the bottom, there's a little bit of filament coming out. It's starting to do a purge. Uh, it's not actually at the purge setting yet, so we'll be doing a little bit more of a purge towards the end. All right guys, as you can see, it started the purge. The purge will only go for uh, about 10 seconds, give or take and it's just cleaning out the nozzle. Uh, I tend to run a second purge so whenever it's finished on the control you'll see end filament change or purge more. I tend to run purge more one more time just to make sure that I'm clearing out anything in there. Um, I've swapped colors before and haven't done that and then I have a little bit of an overlap of the previous color at the bottom of the base of the next print. So I just like to play it safe and just purge it one more time. Uh, it's not like it's using too much filament, so to me it's worth it. And that's that. You go ahead and hit end filament change and you're ready to start printing. And in this case it will just resume where it left off. Alright guys, we just covered changing the filament in the middle of a print. This can be useful if you're towards the end of a spool and wanting to get the new one ready. If you trip the filament sensor and need to replace it or if you just want to change colors in the middle of the print. Alright now let's go over changing the filament when the printer is not running. It's going to be pretty much the same thing except you won't have to actually pause the prints. So let's go ahead and jump to the control panel and we will walk through all the steps. Alright guys now that we're at the control panel here let's go ahead and hit the menu button and get started. So we'll go down to change filament and then select the filament type that you're using. Here I'm using PLA so I'll go ahead and choose that. The main difference between PLA and ABS here is the temperature it'll heat the hot into. It, PLA will heat the hot into 200 degrees Celsius where ABS goes to 240. You can right, guys, while this is preheating I wanted to go over a little tip that I typically do. If I'm just putting the filament into storage and I'm not planning on using it for a while, I'll just go up here and cut the filament as close as I can to the bottom and then go ahead and pull the filament out and store it. Uh, there's not much of a difference between going through that and going through the actual filament change process. Uh, you're going to end up wasting about the same amount of filament. So as you can see, we do have a little bit of filament here that will be wasted. Most of this would have been wasted anyway. You would have saved about 
an inch and a half or two inches if you just wait it for the actual unload versus cutting it. But if you're going to just store the filament for a while, it makes no difference. Uh, that's typically what I do. It saves me a little bit of time. And if the printer is not on, you don't have to worry about heating it up or anything like that until you have to. That's just a little trick that I like doing. All right, guys. So that was part two of our intro to 3D printing series. Make sure to subscribe so you get an update on any future videos coming out. And please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video and if there's anything in the future you'd like me to make. Thanks for watching and make sure you guys stay indoors and stay safe.